Picture this. It's a Monday morning and you're craving a comforting cup of coffee. You walk into your favorite coffee shop hoping for a quick caffeine fix. But wait, what's this? The line is out the door. Everyone seems to have had the same idea. That's demand at play, my friend. This coffee shop scenario perfectly illustrates the dance of demand and supply. When a product or service becomes highly sought after, like our beloved coffee on a Monday morning, demand surges. And if the supply, meaning the amount of coffee the shop prepared, doesn't match this sudden increase in demand, we see a classic case of demand outstripping supply. The result? Longer wait times, potential price hikes, and maybe even some grumpy coffee-deprived customers, hopefully not you. This simple example highlights how demand and supply are not just abstract economic concepts, but forces that shape our everyday experiences. Think about it. This same principle applies to concert tickets, limited edition sneakers, or even the latest gadgets. When something is perceived as highly desirable or scarce, its demand skyrockets, often leading to interesting dynamics in the marketplace. But let's delve deeper into the individual roles of demand and supply to understand their impact fully. Section 2. Unraveling Demand How much do you really want that shiny new gadget? Demand, in its simplest form, is the desire for a product backed by the willingness and ability to purchase it. It's not enough to just want that sleek new smartphone. You need to be willing to shell out the big bucks for it. The quantity demanded refers to the specific amount of a product that consumers are willing to buy at a given price. Think of it like this. The lower the price of something, the more people are willing and able to buy it, leading to higher demand. Remember those incredible Black Friday sales? The drastically reduced prices entice shoppers to buy more, illustrating how price influences the quantity demanded. Demand isn't solely driven by price, though. Other factors like personal preferences, income levels, and even social trends play a significant role. For instance, if your favorite celebrity endorses a particular brand of clothing, it's likely to experience a surge in demand. Understanding demand is crucial for businesses to make informed decisions about production, pricing and marketing. By analyzing consumer behavior and anticipating demand fluctuations, companies can optimize their offerings to meet the ever-changing desires of the market. Section 3. The Supply Story why are strawberries pricey in winter? Now let's switch gears and explore the other side of the coin supply. In essence, supply refers to the quantity of a good or service that producers are willing and able to offer for sale at a given price. Think of those bustling farmers markets overflowing with fresh produce. The higher the price a product fetches in the market, the more incentivized producers are to supply it as higher prices translate to greater potential profits. This explains why certain products like those delicious but out of season strawberries command a premium price during winter. Just like demand, supply isn't solely determined by price. Factors such as production costs, technological advancements, and even natural events can significantly impact the supply of goods and services. For instance, a breakthrough in solar panel technology can lead to an increased supply of affordable renewable energy solutions. The interplay of these various factors creates a dynamic relationship between price and the quantity supplied. By understanding the forces that influence supply, businesses can make strategic decisions to optimize optimize their production processes and respond effectively to market demands. Section 4. The Interplay – When Demand and Supply Collide Now that we have a grasp on demand and supply individually, let's examine how these two economic forces interact to shape market dynamics. Imagine a popular video game console hitting the shelves just before the holiday season. Demand is through the roof as gamers eagerly await the chance to get their hands on the latest technology. However, due to production constraints, the supply is limited, creating a classic case of demand exceeding supply. This scenario often leads to a phenomenon economists call a shortage. In a shortage, the quantity demanded surpasses the quantity supplied at the current price. This imbalance typically drives prices upward as eager consumers are willing to pay a premium to snag the limited supply. Remember those concert tickets selling for exorbitant prices on resale websites? That's a prime example of demand supply forces at play. Conversely, if the price of a product is set too high, exceeding what consumers are willing to pay, it can lead to a surplus. In this case, the quantity supplied outstrips the quantity demanded, 
potentially resulting in unsold inventory. Think about those clearance sales designed to offload excess stock. Section 5. Finding the sweet spot. The magic of equilibrium price. In a perfect world, the forces of demand and supply would always be in perfect harmony. Economists call this state of equilibrium where the quantity demanded precisely matches the quantity supplied at a specific price, the equilibrium price. At this magical price point, there are no shortages or surpluses. Consumers are content with the available quantity at the prevailing price, and producers find it profitable to supply that exact amount. It's a win-win situation for both sides. However, achieving this state of equilibrium is often more aspirational than realistic. In the real world, demand and supply are constantly in flux, influenced by a myriad of factors like changing consumer preferences, technological advancements, and even unforeseen events like natural disasters. Think about the impact of a sudden surge in demand for face masks during a global pandemic. The existing supply chains were caught off guard, leading to temporary shortages and price hikes until production could catch up. This illustrates how external shocks can disrupt market equilibrium sending ripples through the demand and supply dynamics. Section 6. Riding the Waves How trends and seasons impact demand and supply. The dance of demand and supply is never static. It's constantly influenced by trends, seasons and even the whims of consumers. Think about the fashion industry where demand for clothing styles can shift dramatically based on celebrity endorsements or viral social media trends. Similarly, seasonal changes have a profound impact on the demand and supply of certain goods and services. During the summer months, the demand for ice cream, sunscreen and beachwear skyrockets, leading to increased production and potentially higher prices. Conversely, the demand for winter coats, snow shovels and other cold weather essentials plummets during the warmer months, prompting retailers to offer deep discounts to clear out their inventory. Understanding these cyclical patterns is crucial for businesses to effectively manage their inventory, adjust pricing strategies and anticipate shifts in consumer demand. By staying ahead of the curve, businesses can capitalize on emerging trends and seasonal changes to maximize their profitability. Section 7. Beyond the basics, demand and supply in a larger context. While we've primarily focused on individual products and services, the principles of demand and supply extend far beyond the realm of everyday transactions. They play a fundamental role in shaping entire industries and influencing national economies. Consider the global oil market, where the interplay of demand from energy-hungry nations and supply controlled by major oil-producing countries dictates the price of this essential commodity. Fluctuations in oil prices have ripple effects throughout the global economy, impacting everything from transportation costs to the prices of consumer goods. Similarly, the demand and supply of skilled labor play a crucial role in determining wage levels and employment rates. Industries experiencing rapid growth often face shortages of qualified workers, driving up wages as companies compete for top talent. Conversely, industries in decline may experience a surplus of labor, leading to layoffs and wage stagnation. Understanding these broader economic forces is essential for policymakers to make informed decisions regarding trade agreements, labor regulations and other policies that influence the delicate balance of demand and supply. Section 8. Elasticity. Not all goods are created equal. Not all goods respond to price changes in the same way. Economists use the concept of elasticity to measure how sensitive the demand or supply of a product is to changes in its price. Goods with elastic demand experience significant changes in quantity demanded with even slight price fluctuation. Think about luxury items like designer handbags or high-end electronics. A small increase in price might lead to a substantial drop in demand as consumers may opt for more affordable alternatives. On the other hand, goods with inelastic demand are less sensitive to price changes. Essential goods like gasoline or prescription medications fall into this category. Even if prices increase, people still need these products, resulting in a relatively smaller change in quantity demanded. Understanding the elasticity of demand is crucial for businesses to make informed pricing decisions. For instance, increasing the price of an elastic good might not be the best strategy, as it could lead to a significant drop in sales revenue. 
Conversely, businesses may have more leeway to adjust the prices of inelastic goods without experiencing a drastic impact on demand. Section 9 Government Intervention, a helping hand in the market. While the forces of demand and supply are often self-regulating, there are instances where governments intervene in the market to achieve specific social or economic goals. One common form of intervention is through price controls, where governments set limits on how high or low prices can go. For instance, governments might impose price ceilings on essential goods like rent or food to ensure affordability for low-income households. Conversely, governments might establish price floors to support certain industries or protect workers' incomes, such as setting minimum wage laws. However, government intervention in the market can sometimes lead to unintended consequences. Price ceilings, while well-intentioned, can result in shortages if the regulated price is set below the equilibrium price, as suppliers may be unwilling or unable to produce enough to meet demand at the artificially low price. Similarly, price floors can lead to surpluses if the regulated price is set above the equilibrium price, as consumers may reduce their consumption at the artificially high price, leaving suppliers with excess inventory. Therefore, governments must carefully consider the potential ramifications before intervening in the market. Section 10. Demand and supply the invisible hand guiding our choices. In conclusion, the seemingly simple concepts of demand and supply play a profound role in shaping our everyday lives and the broader economic landscape. They are the invisible forces that influence the prices we pay, the products we consume and the jobs we hold. By understanding how demand and supply interact, we can make more informed decisions as consumers, producers and citizens. Whether we're deciding how much to spend on a cup of coffee, considering a career change, or analyzing government policies, the principles of demand and supply provide a valuable framework for understanding the complexities of the market. As we've explored, the dance of demand and supply is constantly evolving, influenced by a myriad of factors. By staying informed about market trends, consumer behavior, and government policies, we can navigate the ever-changing economic landscape and make choices that align with our individual and collective well-being.